All right, guys, we're here again at the water separation display and we've stepped up our game. And what, what do I mean by that? Well, it's always been fast here, but it used to be air dog at about 66%. What yeah. place did that put them in? Uh, couldn't even tell you off the top of my head, <laughs> but actually, worse than I OEM. Was, I think it was last place. Much worse than OEM. Okay, Much with the third party testing, right? That was third party SGS IBR laboratory. And Testing. How many people have we sent in to third party testing? How many sets of filters? We have sent probably about 20 different sets of filters in. Okay, so we've stepped up our game by going to number two. That's right. They play second, they play second, they build a good filter. They do, they do. At 165 and below, 165 gallons per hour and below. Correct. Okay. Correct. But with that being said, it was, which we will see, that was still below satisfactory. What, what do you mean by that? So you start with a test of around 10,000 parts per million. That's how much water is in the fuel. Here, okay. Right? And then after you run the test, how much water is left in the fuel after it's been run through the water separator? That is what we're meaning about the parts per million that is left in the diesel fuel. These were at 245 parts per million, right? Which is unsatisfactory. Okay. Uh, you want it to be below at least 200 parts per Okay, and Air Dog is way behind that. Way behind okay. that, way behind that. But what we're gonna show, and we don't have a drain. They do have a drain, we don't. And we're gonna show you how we perform without a drain. Because people are using cap filters, which is a good filter, on a fast fuel system. They have the best fuel system with second place filters. Yeah. We're gonna show you why you want to run fast, even if you need to paint these yellow, why you don't want to run these, okay? Absolutely. So let's go, are we going to throw the filters on? Yep, these are brand new filters on both sides, still in the packaging, so we're not manipulating this test at all. We're going to go ahead and spin them on and get the test started. All right. So does it matter which side I put this one on? It does. <laughs> Pressure side. Notice that we're not putting grease on. That's just because we're just testing, it'll be off and on, okay? But put grease on yours. Okay, so now we've got our filters on here. We're gonna get our water poured in, get this fuel contaminated, and we'll kick a pump on back here, and that's going to blend that fuel and water and create an emulsion, right? Okay. Emulsified water is even more difficult to separate than oh, yes. free water. The free water, we used to just use a screen and a drain. Yeah, much, much, much easier. So yeah. this will really show the outstanding abilities of our free water separator. Yes, there you go. Now, will this meet, uh, reach a capacity of that filter? Potentially. Okay. Because that's when a lot of the conventional filters fail, is they do a decent job in taking the water out, and that one's not even satisfactory to OEM, but when they reach uh, capacity where they will not hold any more water, it's like a liberal, they go off, you know, well, they know they're come on duty anyways, but they go off duty and they just let everything pass right up to your injection system, then that'll shut you down. Oh, wow. Yes, we always let this run for a minute or so. Get it nice and blended up. Now, what I'd like to do is challenge our competition because what I'd like to do, take our fast fuel system, plug it on one of our nice trucks, Yeah have that container like Spencer and I did a long time ago and yep. take a gallon of water and pour it in. Yeah, I have a hard time believing that any of our competitors are willing to do that test with their setup. We did that and it went 176,000 miles and then we shipped that truck to Canada. And get this, in that communist state, and I'm sorry I have great friends up there that don't believe in their communist regime. If you send a truck up there and there is a recall, you have to take that recall. We had to put a CP3 on there and take out the CP4. Because I know that CP4 with the fast on there was going to outlast the truck. Yeah. Let's see how this looks. <laughs> I'm not drinking it. If it's not nasty enough, we can always add some more water. Okay. In there, so. You want to add some for the fun of it? Yeah, why not? If a little's good, more is always better, right? Maybe not in this instance on your truck, but. Okay, let's let that settle down. Um, and now we have, there's a bunch of air in there too, right? Right. Now. Once that air is removed, you will be able to see. There's air and fuel? 
Yeah, believe it or not, I think we might have a couple videos on that too. Okay. Uh, but uh, you'll see how cloudy it is, and that's going to be from the water. So then we're gonna connect our lines back there, fire both pumps up, see what happens. Okay. Okay, now we have both systems hooked up. Okay. Plugged in, and we're ready to fire them up. All right, let's do it. All right, let's go. Always takes a second for him to both prime yeah. up, of course. You can see him burping. Yep. Wow. There's a huge difference already. Wow. How's that for your uh, Caterpillar filter upgrade? Guys, what do you want going to your injection system? Now this is all agitated and everything, but look, let it settle out. But look at that. I mean, I will say the color is pretty close to the color of the filters. So. <laughs> wow. But a third party, this is just verifying what third party told us yeah, this scientifically. Yeah, this is a good visual example or representation of what's going on. That's second place. That's first place loser. This is what your injection system wants to live. That's how we get three times the life of the injection system is what you're used to. Yeah. I mean, like you said, second place, yeah. right? And you see that much of a difference. Yes. Now there's even more filters out there that you can use. Think of that difference too. Yeah. So when you have a fast on with the fast fuel filters, OEM can never say that you're not meeting their quality of fuel the quality fuel being delivered to their injection Absolutely. system. Yeah, because that's over 99% water removal and filters particulates down to two microns, absolute. And also, the, here's the other thing about a drain that just came on me. When you have a drain, you do have to drain that, mm -hmm. okay? And you don't know when, you don't know whatever. This will actually stop you. This will stop it from reaching the injection system. Because you're guessing with that drain. Yeah, absolutely. Okay? And yes, you can drain it. There might be some water in here, yeah. but look at all the water that is getting through. But most most water now is emulsified. Mm -hmm. That's right. So. That's right. Thank you very much.